Hello. Hello. All right. Mechanica. So, this game is pretty simple. It's just sort of a not exactly deck building, but like a factory building game. We have all of these little robots. Whoops. They're a bit slippery. Ah. Uh, which have like tiny little faces. Ah, uh, you guys aren't gonna be able to see that with this lighting. But we get these robots, pass them through the factory, sell them for these blueprints, get money. Pretty simple. So in front of me, I have my factory, which can fit all of these different sort of improvements, these little jigsaw pieces. We have the vaults where you put money and you score it at the end of the game. You just can't spend it during the game. We have our starting money, which is eight money. Uh, yeah, dollars, I guess. It doesn't say specifically. Um, Let's see. We have our robots, which come in standard, tropical, and purple. I think I'm pretty sure it's, it's standard plus deluxe. I don't remember exactly. Mostly it's just white, orange, purple. Um, we have our blueprints, which are our goals. We have forks, big trucks, huge trucks, which just add more robots that we can fit on the end. Because if you don't have space, the robots collide and one of them gets destroyed. We have the improvement deck up here, which is off camera. You guys can't see that. This is where we would keep the money, uh, according to the rules. But I have it to the side because trying to dig through there for the correct denomination is a pain. I do like that they are these sort of coins, though. That's appreciated. I also have a reference card. I have the bot, Armand Zero. This robot arm right here. Uh, he has a vault. He starts with eight money. And this coin, which determines what he's going to buy. So, we also have the shop, which, as it turns, pieces are going to fall through the bottom. And everything gets cheaper. Going from 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, recycled. And... You can either buy it and recycle it for a thing, or if it recycles, you get extra bots. So, that's pretty much it. I'll explain more as we go. So, let's see. Right. So, at the start of the workday, we run our factory. We move our robots along, and if it hits any improvements, it'd go somewhere else. In this case, it just goes to the small truck. Now, I... Huh... What do I want to do? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to... Do I want the flight tester? It can be worth something. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am going to... Well, do I want that? Yes, I want to keep this. So I'm going to sell for five. I'm going to buy this flight tester, and I'm going to put it right there, there. Let's put it here. And I'm also going to spend one to buy a fork. And the fork lets you move either up or down. I'm going to make it go to up. I prefer that. All right, and the flight tester basically just lets you hop over other stuff in a straight line. And if you hop over at least one other improvement, you get a coin. All right. So I think that's going to be it for my improvements. I'm going to make new bots. So I get a new one in my basic fabricator. And then we rotate the shop, like so. And we add a new one here, the static charger, which allows you to create new bots as they go through. All right. Now that is my turn. So we move on to Armand. And we're going to flip the coin. Whoop. Fell over. Let me try that again. All right. We got the one side, the purple side, which means he gets one coin. And then he buys the cheapest thing in the shop, which is this overactive fabricator for five. Yep. And we put that on his card. And he will score that at the end of the game. It is the the score of that, which is one times six. So that's six points for him right there. Then we rotate the shop and add another one, a gift wrapper. Anything that passes through that, you get a coin. 
Pretty simple. All right, and we're going to go until the improvement deck runs out. There's 21 in there. So, so far, doing all right. Now we're starting the workday over again. Gonna hop this guy through. And it's gonna. Ooh, oh, shoot, I should have sold this on my turn. Ah, that's a mistake. Oh, well, so I'm gonna hop over and he gets replaced because there's no space for him. And because I hopped over one, I get one coin. Right there. And yeah, since I need coins more than anything, I'm going to sell. Whoops, I'm going to sell this bot for two, two coins, which gets me five. So I could get the static charger. I could get the static charger, or I think I'm going to need a big truck. So I'm going to spend three to get a big truck. And all the big truck is, it's got two spots. Huge truck for five, it's three spots so on. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm going to buy. I'm going to make the new bot so I get one more. And then we rotate the shop. And we got another static charger. There's three of each one in this deck. So that's that's pretty par for the course. All right. Now it's Armand Zero's turn. Whoops. Come on. My finger, I cut my finger earlier. It's a little hard to do this with the, uh, the band-aid. All right, another one. So he gets one, and he buys the cheapest thing, which is four, that static charger. So we'll toss those over there, take the static charger into his pile, which is gonna be another six points. Ugh, he's already hopping ahead. Then we rotate, pop one in. The third static charger, oh, should have shuffled these better, okay. And then, Yes, that is the end of the workday. Now we start a new workday, move the bots. Flip over there. This gets one point for that. Whoops. And, hmm. What am I actually working towards? Okay, I want the tickle technician because it's 30 points. It goes into your vault, you don't get to spend it, but that is pretty good. So I'm gonna go for that. I need two white and two orange. So what do I wanna get? Gift wrapper is good. That's points. Hmm. I think I will sell this bot for two. And then I will use the five that I have to get the static charger. But instead of putting it in here, I'm going to actually drop it in there. And I get the bonus in the corner, which in this case was two orange. We pop them into any empty slots. I'll put them in there so that I don't lose out on that. All right, bought the improvement. Turn it. Whoop. There we go. And it's a downgrader, so that lets you turn a purple bot into three orange bots or an orange bot into three white bots. Okay. And they all shoot off to different parts of the factory. So, that one could be good. Can't get it this turn, though. All right, make new bots. Get another white one. There it is. Put that orange one back in there. Okay. And then, uh, I already rotated the shop. So, I, <laughs> I get ahead of myself sometimes. So, okay. We're going to see what Armin's got. One. So, another one. And he only has two, can't get the three, so in this case, he gets an additional four so that he's not totally broke. So now he has six, but he doesn't do anything else, and we still rotate the shop. There we go. Okay, uh, repurposer, what does that do? Ah, okay, repurposer, you put two into the input holes, and you get one of your choice. So you could turn two white bots into one purple bot. Pretty good. In this case, we don't really need it, but I appreciate it. Okay, let's see. All right, run the factory. All of these bots go along. That hops over there, get a point. 
and hmm now okay could you use some money ah but these bots okay yeah i'm going to sell all of my bots to get eight coins that's Four for each of the orange, and two for the white. So that's ten total. Um, right? Yes. So I should have eleven. Yeah. Okay. So I have that now. Those are sold. No more bots, but that's okay. Now we can buy improvements. The repurposer could be very useful, but hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for the repurposer. For two reasons. One, I can really use it. And two, it's a four point. So if he gets that, that's 24 points. That's no good for me. So we're going to pop that at the top of the fork, which allows us to do quite a bit here. Okay, and then I need another fabricator sometime. I'm okay for now, though. All right, so bought the improvement. I could buy another improvement. Hmm. Do I want to? Maybe I should just buy another big truck. Ah, uh, gosh. A lot to say here. How does the static charger work? Okay. Oh, static charger could be very useful here, actually. Yeah, I'm going to spend my other four to get a static charger. We're going to pop that right there. So that gets me an additional bot for the next day. All right, so those are all the improvements I bought. We're gonna make new bots, which is just the one white bot. I really need to make another fabricator as soon as I can. And then this goes, ch chunk. That gets recycled, so we get another purple bot. Put that on the bottom. All right, and then we put, ah, there's my fabricator. All right, hopefully Armand does not get it. Let's see. Ah, Armand's going to get it. All right. So in this case, Armand would get five and then buy the most expensive thing. In this case, the fabricator. So that's seven. Just do two plus the five it just got. And it buys that fabricator. It's only one point, so that's not too bad. But ugh, could have used that. And we got a gift wrapper, which, again, gets you one extra point every time. Something goes through it. Okay, my turn. So we're going to move all the bots. This guy goes to the small truck. This guy goes through the static charger, which gives us another white bot. Then flight tester. Mm, well, okay. We're going to, in this case, pop one up here so that we can eventually get that orange. I'm going to sell this purple one because I don't need it. And that gets a six. And I'm going to use use that, the five and the one, to buy two big trucks. One for the top and the bottom. All right, that's all my money. I'm gonna twist this, pop it in. Rep another repurposer, uh-oh. That's not good, he could get that. Well, we're going to find out, I guess. All right. Oh, I got ahead of myself again. All right. 
made a new bot. Okay. So, you know, I'm actually going to take that back. Instead of buying two big trucks, I will make this top truck a huge truck, which would have only cost me five. So I get that one. All right, now it's his turn. Ah! He's going to get that repurposer. That sucks. Okay, so that's a five. And yeah, he's going to buy the most expensive one, which is the repurposer. It's going to be another 24 points for him. Oh, and he recycles, which gets nobody anything. And then we got another flight tester. Which, yeah, I'm going to want to buy that up if I can so that he can't get it. Hmm. Okay. So, it's my turn again. Um, 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 um. All right, all the bots move. This one does not because it doesn't go anywhere. And this guy goes up here. And now that... Let's see. Okay, yeah. Now that I've done that, these two go in there and we get orange bot they'll move on my next work day and this guy goes zip which yeah we'll toss a, another one up in here and didn't do the flight tester but did do the static charger so we get another standard bot all right so that's all the movements we don't have anything to sell unfortunately but Hmm. I really need to buy something. I really can't. I don't I don't have any money. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could buy a fork. So I will buy a fork. Have it point down ooh, downwards. Eh. Ah, the flight tester is always a little wide. There we go. Okay. Fits all together, so now I can fork them up, fork them down, get two dollars anytime they zip past there. Nice. All right. So, yeah, that's bought. I bought an improvement. I'm gonna make a new bot. Another white one. Come on, come on. There it is. And then we're gonna rotate the shop. All right. That's a duplicator. So anything you put in there. You get two more at the next turn. All right. So let's see what he's got. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. One. All right, so that gives him three. So he's going to buy the cheapest one, which is the gift wrapper. That gets him 12 points. It's a little rough. It's okay. It's okay. And we have another gift wrapper coming through. And then it's the next day. So we're going to move our orange over in there. We're going to move this guy along. And now that those are both in there, we're going to replace them with another orange. And we're going to zip through here, which gets us another one of these. We're going to hop over both of these with the flight tester to go in here. And that gets us two. One for each improvement, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I'll check that on Board Game Geek later, but uh, it could. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's per improvement, but could be wrong on that. In either case. Not doing great. This game's very hard against the AI. So. Be able to do the Tickle Technician next turn. Ah, uh, but I gotta... No, I gotta sell these guys. I just need the cash, man. It's expensive making robots. And we will buy... 
don't really need another flight tester, but if he gets it, that's going to be really tricky for me. Hmm. What I want is the duplicator. The duplicator is very useful. Yeah. All right, it's risky, but yeah, I'm going for the duplicator. I will replace this fork. You don't get anything for replacing them. But we're going to pop this duplicator in its place. All right. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bought the improvements. Get another bot. Twist it. We got the upgrader. The upgrader is also pretty useful because it basically just goes up one step, white to orange, orange to purple, etc. Okay, so with that, it's gonna be Armand's turn. Five. Uh, can't do it, so that just gets him five. Can't buy the most expensive one. Still rotates. And another flight tester. Ugh. That's expensive. All right. All right. My turn. So my bots go through. Got this guy. Flight tester. Uh, well, do I want to do the flight tester? Hmm. Mm, now we'll go with the duplicator, which, yeah, turns this into two white bots. Uh, and those will go out in my next turn. This zips through, hop over that, and goes to the big truck. So that's two more coins. And I get a standard bot in my static charger. The thing is, I could... Hmm... Could make money off of these six coins. Do I need six coins though? Let's see what's in there. Mm. No, 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 I don't really. I got an upgrader in there that I could get. Or a gift wrapper. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the upgrader. Um, yes, I'm going to buy, buy that for all five of my coins. And we're going to put that, no, I just got the duplicator. Let's, let's replace this fork. Okay. Yep, that's it. Then we get another white bot. Come on. Yep, oh, 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 there he is. Okay. And then we rotate. And I get to chunk to orange. So we're going to drop one down here. And one up here. Um, let's see. I don't know. I was seeing if I could skip past, but it looks like I can't. Okay, so, yeah, I put those bots in. I rotate it. Got to put duplicator is the one in the seven spot. Okay. Make new bots. All of that. Yes. Okay. Now it's Armand's turn. What do you got? One. So he gets one. And buys the cheapest one, which is the gift wrapper, which gives him two in change. And puts that in his pile. It's going to be 12 points at the end. Scoot that around. And an upgrader. I really need another fabricator. I don't have any. Oh, man. Okay. The upgrader could be useful. 
Maybe. We'll see. So, my turn. Got this guy into the upgrader, which turns him into a orange bot. We get this guy up into the repurposer. This guy over into the repurposer. This guy, uh, could skip any of those. Let's put him in the duplicator, which makes two of him for next time. Then we're going to um, right, right. He came from there. And then we're going to hit the flight tester, zip over here, gets us two coins. Then we also get a guy from the st static. Charger. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, give him to me. There we go. And this guy over here. Okay. Now here's the big question. If I do one of these, they both get discarded at the end of the round. So, if I could do seven. I only have six. If I could upgrade this small truck to a big truck, or this big truck to, oh, the big truck to a huge truck would do it too. Because then I'd have those three and I'd only need two more white, which I can definitely get. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna sell one of these guys. Just take, uh, take, I'll take the two. Then I'll spend three to upgrade the big truck to a huge truck. Then the big truck goes back. Okay. Okay, so that's enough space, that's seven. I need one more orange, which I have right here, then two more white, which I can easily get. And then I can get both of these, which would be super useful. So that's what we're working towards. All right. That's all of them. Can't buy any other improvements. Can make a new bot. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. I had one. I had one. I thought it was an orange. There it is. Now we rotate. Whoop. Getting out of hand. Oh, we're getting to the bottom of the stack. There's a fabricator. That's what I need. All right, hopefully Armand doesn't buy that. Let's find out. Ah, he's gonna. All right, so he gets five, plus those two, to buy the advanced fabricator. Dang it. All right, and then that rotates. We got another one here. Oh, an overactive fabricator. That's pretty good. It gives him points anytime I use it, though, so not great. Okay. So that's his turn. Now it's my turn again. So let's scoot everything over. We got this. We got this going in. Coming orange. We got both of these. Wait, since those were both in there, I should have done the thing. Ugh, I'm an idiot. So it should have been over here. And yeah, that's where it's supposed to be right now. And this goes up there. This goes along, and we'll foosh. Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, we'll foosh it over. That gets us two coins. Then we'll hop this over, and that gets us the duplicators. And we get one more minty boy for the static charger. There we go. Now I can sell bots as needed. So I can get another one of these guys this next turn. Um, yes. So I may as well sell him. That's four. Uh, this is going to get replaced, but I want to hang on to that. Then I will have another one come through so we can sell that too. So yeah, that's going to go up, it's going to go into the hole, that's going to replace, and then that's going to jump over to the huge truck. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So I got a six 
Huh? My vault. There was nothing in it, but, you know, it's embarrassing. Um, okay. So, let's see. We have four... Nine. We have nine. So... Hmm. Well, I could get a duplicator. Yeah, I think the duplicator and a huge truck would be the way to go, so that's going to be eight, all told. Put the duplicator here, and we'll put the huge truck here. And then we're going to zap, which gets us two orange bots. And I forgot to reduce my basic bot. No, give, it, give me the minty boy. I see him. There he is. All right. And then we also add the last, which is a duplicator. So now that we've gone through the deck... Uh, we go until all the three that are still on there are gone, and then at the end of that workday, the game is over. So I gotta finish this up before then. All right. So let's see. What's he gonna do? One. So, one. Can't afford it. It's three. So he gets another four. Unfortunate for me, but okay. So we get this mint, or rather not mint, uh, tropical, orange. Those go through there. Which gets us to repurpose it for whatever, so I'm going to go with one of these guys so I can sell them for points. Then hop this over. Yeah, yeah, stuck, stuck. Got this, which duplicates it to get me two for next turn. This goes through, and I'm going to zhzh, and right over. All right, which gets me two points. And this guy goes through there. And I could zhzh, but I don't want to. Or maybe I do. Yeah, let's do. So, I'll replace this guy. Uh, no, maybe I don't want to. Yeah, let's duplicate that guy for next turn. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna get two more of those so we can sell these for eight. I'm actually going to hang on to those. And nothing too expensive he could buy, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. Right? Will I be able to do this? I think so. You know, instead of this guy, I'm going to say that I got a standard boy. Because that'll be a lot more useful for me. Alright, and then yeah, I'm not going to buy any specific improvements. And then I'm going to make the new bots, which is just the one. Oh, and I forgot my static charger gets me one. Ah, ah, no, no, give him to me. Ah, he's falling into the forks. Okay, actually, yeah, you know, since I got this static charger going on, honestly, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh no, I've lost one. Hold on. My boy. Ah. He was hiding in my collection of Goosebumps books. Ugh. Oh, he brought some hair with him. All right. So, yeah, since we're going to have that, let's do this. I think that should be all right. Nope. Actually, wait. Never mind. I was right the first time. Let's make that this boy. Okay. So, that's all of those. And then we're going to twist it. No. I already twisted it. Did I? No, he twisted it. Yeah. I 
think that's right. I don't know. I th I'm, I'm pretty sure that was right. Now let's see if he buys anything. He got a one. Which means that he has six. So yeah, he's going to be able to buy that upgrader. And twist it all. All right. One of my last couple work days here. Yeah. It's a hair and dust. Ugh, I don't want to blow the guys over. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Run the action. So this guy goes there. This guy goes there. This guy goes here. Gets upgraded. This guy goes there. Uh, this guy doesn't move. This guy goes there. Which means that we can change them out. And I'm going to go for a high scoring piece because I don't think I'll be able to fulfill any contracts. This guy goes up here. I'm going to Put him there so that he can be duplicated, which doesn't get me any points, unfortunately. Oh, and then, yeah, I'll put this guy here, which means that uh, I would just destroy the bots that get placed there. And this guy... Well, yeah, actually, I'll say up here because of the flight... Right? No, those are inputs. Never mind. It only goes straight. So yeah. Both of these guys get lost, but I get a new one here. Okay, that's my factory run. And now I can sell bots as needed. I'm not going to because I'm going to fulfill the blueprints. So we got two orange, two white to do the tickle technician, which gets us 30. And we haven't brought them out this time, but these are the 10 and the 20, which go in my vault. And then we're going to do two white and one orange for the sentient toilet scrubber, which gets me a 10 and a 5 in my vault. All right, and those stayed like that. They can be fulfilled again by other people. Technically, it's a solo game, so I'm not going to be able to, but whatever. All right, so that got me 45 points. Nice, nice. I don't have any other bots to sell. I could buy some improvements, though. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, boy. What am I going to do? Hmm. Well, I should probably buy one of the more expensive ones. I mean, they're worth the same. Ah, uh, I could keep... Well, three coins is worth more than the one point I get for that, so yeah, I'm not going to buy anything. So we're going to make new bots, just the one. We're going to twist it. And Armand gets his last turn, probably. One! Then he buys the cheapest one, which is only two. So he gets the overactive fabricator. And then it twists. And now it's my turn. One last time. So we're going to hop him over. This guy's going to get upgraded. This guy's going to hop up. This guy's going to hop over. This guy is going to get... Now uh, let's toss him through the flight tester so I get two points. Uh... And then similarly, two points. Oh, and I get one more guy because of the static charger. Okay. So. I'm just going to sell them all off. I'm not going to be able to fulfill. Oh, right. I forgot. After our monster turn, it's the end of the workday. So these blueprints go away. They go to the bottom of the stack. And we flip over the other one. And I might be able to fulfill one of these. Yes! I can fulfill the cutinator. So let's do that. So two white and a purple for the cutinator. And can't do the homing television. But I get 20 for the hominator. Or the cutinator. Get in the get in there. Ah, and then I'm also gonna sell this guy for four points, because they will count at the end. There we go. 
Okay. And I'm not going to buy the improvement because two still costs more than the one I'd get. So not going to do that. And we're just going to whop, which gets me this. And then Armand gets one last turn before the end here. Oop, I get one more guy too. Not that it'll matter. And Armand gets five. Can't buy anything, but he gets the five points. Okay. So that is the end of the game. So we're going to add it all up here. First off, none of these robots are good for anything at the end. Uh, so actually, let me scoot it here so I can keep score up here. So we got five and four, five, which I will trade out for a 10. Then one, two, three, four, five. Trade out for a five and four. And then we go into the vault, which gets us a 20, a 10, which I'll trade out for a 20. Another 20, 10, another five. And then I get in those two fives into a 10, 10 for a 20. So I have those 84 plus, let me get rid of these real quick, plus all of my various improvements. So we got 2, 3, 7, 10, 11, 12. So I get... Uh, 10, that'll be a 5. So we got 96, which is not a super high score in this game. I didn't do great. So let's see. Oh, let's see what Armand got. Probably quite a bit. So we're going to add up all of these and then multiply it by 6. That's how his scoring works. So we got 1, 3, 5... 7, 9, 13, 14, 15, 16, times 6 is 96. So we are, well, we're tied right there, and he already has. So he has 96 plus 9. So he has 105. Ah, crap. That close. That's the closest I've gotten to beating him. Oh man! All right, let me let me log all that real quick. See, that's not too bad, though. Because if you can see my first game with him... Uh, oh, it's a little hard to see on the camera. Yeah, 47 to 124, the first game. He, he really kicked, my, kicked me. Kicked, kicked me in the bum. I don't know. I don't know if I'm trying to keep this PG, this particular screen, stream that I'm doing today. But uh, yeah, he really, he really got me there. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, reset it up, and then play a second game, because this was pretty quick. So I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Got it all set up. Had to basically shuffle these, shuffle the improvements, take out six for the extras. Um, starting money. New bot. Oh, anything else loaded in the first two improvements? That's pretty much it. So, let's go on to round two. All right, I'm going to hop this guy over here and immediately sell him for two points. Starts me with 10. And I'm going to buy... I want the duplicator or the upgrade. I'm going to buy the upgrade duplicator. Sorry, because it's a little cheaper. And having more bots tends to be pretty good. And I'll put that... Put that right there. Okay. And then I'm going to make new bots, which is to say just the one. Scoot that around. And we have a static charger. That's the one that produces a bot every time something passes through it. Then Armand gets to go. Oh, come on. One. So he gets one, tries to buy the cheapest one, which is the upgrader. I wanted it, but oh well. So he gets that, and that gets him six points just to start. Oh boy. And then we twist it, get that, which is an advanced fabricator. Really need that. So start again, move the bots to the next hole. Duplicator duplicates. Oh. So we can't sell anything this turn. I only have five. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna spend it all on that static charger. And we'll put that right here. Oop, oop, come on, come on. Uh, actually, Yeah, that should, well, actually, I'm going to say the duplicator was back here and the stack charger is here. Technically not allowed to move it, but, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. I'm not doing any major changes. And then we make a new bot. I always have to remember it's make new bot, then rotate. Then rotate. Add a new improvement, which is another advanced fabricator. Okay, cool. So I'm definitely going to get at least one. And Armand's probably going to get one. All right, uh, would get one, but since he's going to buy the five, I'll just drop these four back into the singles. And he gets an advanced fabricator. Turns that, does that. An upgrader. Okay, so yeah, we're going to zip right through here, which gets me another one of, whoop, one of these guys for next turn. And then that hops up there, and this... Scoots along here, which duplicates, like so. And then, yeah, I'm going to just sell these two to get four. And I can't really buy anything, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Well, yeah, I'm just going to save. All right. And then we will make new bots. And rotate. Ooh, an overactive fabricator. Those are also very nice. All right. What does Armand buy? He gets one, which means that he can't buy anything. So he's going to have to get an extra four, which brings him up to five total for next turn. And then he rotates it, and we get whoop, 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 another duplicator. All right. Didn't lose anything in here, did I? Oh, I have a single coin. All right, move all my bots. So this guy moves over. This guy zips. Whoop, we lose him. But we have to get a new one anyways, so let's do that. That guy zips up there. This one, pop, gets duplicated. Right there. And then we can sell. And we're gonna. So sell these two guys for two apiece. Get us another four coins. Okay, and then buy improvements. Uh, the advanced fabricator just gives me an extra space, so I want the overactive one, which is five. So let's 
get that. Ooh, do I want to put it here? No, because it can't... Well, with the static charger, that's not too bad. I still get the basic bot, so yeah, let's do that. Put it right in there. Make new bots, which in this case would be this guy. You get to do orange or purple, your choice. And anytime you do, you would give uh, a bot to the other player. But because Armand doesn't hang on to bots, Armand just gets coinage. So since I made the orange bot, he gets a single coin in his vault for the end of the game scoring. So, whew, that's made. We go like that. And another overactive fabricator. Armand is going to buy. Whoops, come on. Whoop. One. So he gets one, which brings him up to six, and he's going to buy the cheapest one, which is this advanced fabricator, which is worth two. Ooh. Then he scoots it, kaboots it. An upgrader. Nice. All right. Yeah, I put this over so that if there's an upgrader, I can sh it right over when they come in. So I definitely want to get that when I get a chance. Uh, first and foremost, I got to move all my bots over. Zup. Oh, I lose a guy. But then I gain a guy because of the static charger. That goes up there. And this goes over here. It gets duplicated, so I get two orange. All right. And then, yeah, I'm going to sell these two guys. Two apiece, get four, that gives me seven. And I want one of those upgraders. Well, I'll get the cheapest one. Right here. For two. And then I will spend my other five. On a huge truck, so I can hold them all. Nice, bot. Then I make new bot. In this case, I will go with, well, yeah, the orange is going to become a purple when it goes through. And then we rotate the shop. And we have another advanced fabricator. Armand's going to buy, whoops, my guy. He gets one, and he buys the cheapest one, which is for three. He gets that duplicator. Twist it. Pop in a repurposer. Oh boy, I gotta get that out of there because if he gets that, that's 24 points. As soon as I can, I will. Okay, so now we pop this over here, which turns it into an orange. And then we'd zip this over here, which would get rid of one of these oranges, and he would get changed into a purple. And we also get a white uh, in the static charger. Wait. Yeah, that's just if two things pass through. Yeah, they didn't. So... Pop that guy up there, pop him over here, he gets duplicated. Oh, and I forgot to give Armand another one for the orange. All right, so yeah, I got all those guys. So I'm going to sell this guy for four coin, which means I could buy an upgrader or another overactive fabricator. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to buy the overactive fabricator, which is three. Put it down here. And then I'm also going to spend one on a fork so that I can pop it. Wait. I think I've been doing this wrong. Yeah, that's the only input. That's fine. It would have gone down here. It wouldn't have changed anything. They just would have been down here instead of up here. But yeah, I'll keep that in mind. And I'm going to make the fork go up there so it can go to the duplicator if I want. Or no, actually, with all that said, 
No, I'm going to put the fork here so that I can pop them up top if I need to. Oh, come on. There we go. It's a little bit of a tight fit sometimes. Okay. So I bought that improvement. I'm going to make new bots. In this case, two oranges. Which gets our mond. Two in the vault. And we're going to rotate the shop. Okay. The repurposer is protected. He can only buy the, the most expensive or the least expensive. So I got to buy it before he breaks through to it. Let's see what he's got. Five. So he's going to buy the most expensive, which is the overactive fabricator. I do not need another one of those. So that's fine. So he's going to get that there. Rotate. And pop the downgrader in there. Okay. Whew. Here we go. Uh, hold on. I need some water. One sec. Okay, okay. Okay, hydrated. So let me see here. Ugh. I'm actually gonna turn a little bit to be a little more comfortable. Well, that's not super more comfortable. Let me adjust the mic a little bit. A little bit of a down mic. Yeah, you guys can hear me pretty well, hopefully. Okay, I'm just sort of twisted, but all you see is my hands anyways. Okay. So we're going to hop this guy over here. This guy zips through, becomes orange. This guy zips through, becomes... Could become purple. Yeah, let's go with purple there. From the orange, I get another white from the static charger. And this guy goes down. This guy would go across, but... Whoops, that's the wrong spot. Wood uh, goes down and across, so that guy would collide. One of them has to go. And then we will put this guy in the duplicator. There's another couple of these boys. Okay. Maybe I should have put the static charger before the duplicator. Eh, whatever. Too late now. All right. We're getting close to our goal. Uh, crap, I'm going to need a, another couple white bots. I need to get that that repurposer, but I'll save it. For now, I need the advanced fabricator, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to sell both of these, six and four, so that I get ten coins. Which I'm just going to immediately spend seven on the repurposer and the advanced fabricator. And the other three on a big truck. Put the big truck down here. Got the advanced fabricator up top. Got the repurposer. Where do I want to put this? It has three inputs and one output. So I could put it in a middle space. Hmm. Let's put it up here. I think that's a good spot for it. And then make new bots. So I'm going to make two more oranges and a white up here. And because I made the oranges, Armand gets two coins. Then we do this, and this guy has a purple in the corner. So when he falls in there, he gets recycled. And I can put him up here. Okay. And then, whoops, already twisted it. And we get a new one in the seven spot, the duplicator. All right. Ooh, hopefully he doesn't go for the downgrader. I don't think he could. But here we go. Whoa. He got a five, which means that he gets five, but he can't afford the most expensive one, so he doesn't get anything extra. So that is that with that one. Yes? Yes, so that's his round there. And then I'm going to move my guy so that guy gets over there because he got upgraded. Um. Yeah, this guy... 
goes here, gets upgraded to orange. Yeah. And then we will move this guy along. He also gets upgraded, so we will let the purple take the place of the orange. Because they're worth a little more. And then that means this guy's gone. But then we also get, because he went through the static charger, one of those. This guy goes down. This guy goes across. So those are loaded up. This guy could... No. We'll go through here so that he duplicates. Shoop. Shoop. And then these guys both go along here to be repurposed. And I can turn it into whatever I like. So in this case, I will turn it into, you know, silly as it sounds, I'll turn it into a white. Because they're actually kind of hard to get the way I set this up. Whoops. Hmm. Well, I get plenty of oranges, so I'm just going to sell these two for eight. And I'm going to use them to buy a huge truck up here. And could buy another fork. Do I want to? No, nah, I'll save my money. All right, so I make bots. We're going to go orange, orange, and white. Whoops, right there. There you are. And Armand gets one for each of my oranges. Then we rotate, replace with a flight tester, which is worth quite a bit. Hopefully Armand doesn't get that one. One. So he's going to go for the cheapest one, which is the downgrader. So he has six. That costs four. So he's going to get two back. Oof. Yeah, that one's worth a decent amount of points. 18 for him. Then we replace that with the gift wrapper. Put his coin away. Okay. Now it's my turn again. So we're going to move bots. Pop that guy in there. That guy's over. This one would get upgraded to an orange. This one would get upgraded to a purple. So I'm actually going to go with the orange in this case. Because I only need two purple. And I still get my one from the static. This guy goes into here. This guy goes down here. Dead. And then I could do it up to repurpose him. Or duplicate. Yeah, we'll repurpose. So I'm going to change those into another white one. Because we're going to need two of those. For the uh, blueprints. And that's my factory run. And then I can sell bots. I, don't, I only need two of these. And in fact... Hmm. Well, I'll get one again next turn. So yeah. I'll sell two to get eight coins. And that gives me 11 to work with. Uh, do I want the flight tester or the gift wrapper? Flight tester is useful because I can skip over repurposer. And I'd still get a coin. So yeah, let's go with the flight tester. That's five. And we'll pop it right there. Okay. I think that'll be much more useful. And I could spend three on a huge truck down here, but I think a big will be fine. So then let's make new bots. As usual, orange, orange, and white. Come on, where's the mint? There he is. 
And that gets one point each for Armand for each of those oranges. Hmm. Yep, and then we rotate. And there's the downgrader, which is worth quite a bit of points. Hopefully he doesn't buy that one. Let's find out. One, he does not. So one, which gets him up to the three. So he buys the cheapest one, which is only one point. Well, six for him. Rotates. And another downgrader. I gotta buy those up. I don't want him to get a ton of points. Ooh, a lot of expensive stuff in there. Okay. One moment. I'm gonna one moment. I'm gonna get some water. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right, we got to run these through. So this guy is upgraded to an orange. This guy goes in here. This guy goes over. This guy could flight test or be duplicated. Let's duplicate him. Increase our economy. And then we're going to flight test that over. So I get a coin. Okay, and now we're going to do these two blueprints. So first off, wardrobe organizer, which is two white, an orange, and a purple. And that gets me 30. So we're going to go 20 and a, whoop, and a 10. And shop till you drop bot, which is an orange and a purple. And that gets me 15. All right, so those are that. And while I'm at it, we'll just sell off the last one for another two coins. And, hmm, do I have enough to buy all of those up? No. I could buy the downgrader and the gift wrapper, so let's do that. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which gets me both of these, which I don't really need, but I'd like them. All right, and we'll just toss the gift wrapper right here. Um, yeah, we'll actually we'll toss it right there. And hmm. Really changes up my well. I can still get purples from there, so let's let's put it here. That's the uh, the downgrader, and then I could always upgrade straight out of that. So that's both of those. Bought my improvements. Then we'll make new bots. I'm gonna go orange, orange, white, and we will rotate the shop. Uh, the repurposer, that's not good for me. Okay. Let's, whoops. Let's see how it goes. Five. Which means he goes for the more expensive one. It's seven, so he can't afford it. Perfect. All right. And then we switch out the blueprints. Let's see if it's something we can do. It's the orbital targeter, which is three purple. And the cutinator, which is two white and a purple. I might be able to do that. Let's find out. Okay. So. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. It is my turn. So they all move. He goes over there. He zaps through here, which gets me another white. Uh, 
And there it is. He goes down here through the gift wrapper, gets me a point. Zup. Goes to the downgrader, which gets me three whites. There's two of them. And there's the third. Then we zip. That's another one. And zap. That just replaced all those. Okay. Then we move this, and we'll put them in the duplicator so that we can get more oranges going through. And we will zip. Mm, toss that in the repurposer, I think. Nah, let's flight test it over so I get another point. Okay. And, yeah, I'm going to sell that for four points. Cool. And, hmm, have seven. Guess I'm getting another repurposer. <laughs> I don't really want one. But, you know, may as well. I mean, it's points. It's a lot of points for him. So I don't want him to get it. Um, oh, but that could get me a purple. But Well, that'd be a waste of time, really. There. We can get an extra point from the flight test. Yeah. Sure. And then we'll... Zip. Oh, I gotta make my bots first. So let's actually go with purple this time. And an orange. And a white. And orange gets him one, but purple gets him a five. So we gotta pay up. All right, done that. Shop is... I already rotated the shop. Right. So, static charger. And that's the last one. So we're getting into the end game. Let's see what he buys. Five. So he gets five. Buys the most expensive thing, which is the static charger. He gets three change. And he gets that. And it rotates. Oh boy. All right, this is the last turn. So let's see what's the last things I can do. Well, first off, we're going to do this. This guy gets exploded. We'll put him there because I'm going to need him in a minute. This guy gets upgraded to a purple. This guy... will hop up into there, which would turn into an orange. But I don't want an orange. This guy would also... So those all get destroyed. Oh, big waste of time. Then this guy's zit. He'd also be a purple. But then I get one of these guys back from the static charger. This goes to the gift wrapper, so I get one. Goes over here, downgraded. Two, three. Uh, uh, uh. uh I saw one. There he is. There he is. Right, right, right. Um. This guy gets downgraded as well, but first he gets gift wrapped. And that'd be three orange. Which I think, I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to do the cutinator. I'm not really gonna get a chance to sell them either. Well, if I do the cutinator, I already have enough in there. So, yeah. Let's just go with orange on that. Oops. And then this... Flight tested. Gets me two. And this guy is going to get... Hmm... Let's flight test him as well for two. And yeah, we're going to sell him. We're going to sell this one for six. 
And I'm going to save those, because they're good points. And we're going to make new bots. So give me some orange. Give me some orange ones. Come on, come on. That gives you two. Armando, old buddy. Now we rotate the shop, and then he's going to buy it. There we go. One. Cost him two. Gets this downgrader. And that's the end of the... Well, I'm going to say that I sold these as well. Or four. Uh, I should Because I would have realized... I should have realized that would be the end. Whatever. That's that's my bad. Okay. Uh, let's do the final game scoring once again. So, just scoot this down. We got five. One, two, three, four, five. Trade that out for a ten. One, two, three, four, five. So, one. Then we have... A 5 in here, which we'll replace with a 10. And then we have these, so let's place those with two 20s. Ooh boy, 61 ain't great. These robots are not worth anything to me at the end here. Then we're going to add up all of these. So we got 3, 5, 9, 13. 14, 17, 18, 20, 22, 24, 20, then four plus that would be another 5, so that's 85. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Didn't even break 90. I think Armand's got this one. So let's see. I'll do these last, because that's probably going to put him over. So let's see how many of these I got him. All right, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, uh, another five. So I, I gave him 20 points. What's wrong with me? So that's four fives. That's a 20. And now let's see what these add up to. We got three. One, one, three, one. Ah. Wasn't actually adding them up. What am I doing? Three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Which, as we remember from last time, is ninety six. So that's 116 versus my 85. This guy's really hard. This is the easy mode, too. You can actually give yourself, like, anti-hand... You can give him handicaps, basically, to make it harder by adding, starting him off with 10 or 20 or 40, and it's like, I can't even beat him at nothing. So I don't know. It's really hard to beat this guy. But this game's really fun. You got all these really nice components. They all have, they're all great quality pieces. It's got this great mechanic of the shop twisting and dropping in pieces one by one. Love that. These are nice. I'd, I'd say poker chips are still better, but these are a lot nicer than, say, paper money, which is always pretty rough. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's a fun little engine building game that I'm not very good at, but I'm learning. This is my fourth game, and it's my fourth game, like, in just this solo mode. I haven't played against real people yet, but I'd recommend it. I believe you could probably find it on Tabletop Simulator, might be on Tabletopia. The game itself is pretty pretty inexpensive for, you know, how high quality these are. I will say my only big gripe with it is these vaults, the lid is really difficult to get on. I had to really like 
cram it to fit that on. And I don't know if I was doing something wrong or if it's like misprinted or what, but yeah, the, the vault is a pain to put together. So I just put it on and never took it off. But other than that, like great pieces. The robots are nice and heavy and they're just so cute. They got, they went to even the trouble of all this detail and they all got like a little face on them. These guys got a little angry face. The white ones are a little happy guy. These are very, very determined little purple, purple guys, real tall. Yeah, I like the game quite a bit. It, it's at least above average. But um, with all of that said, I want to thank you very much for watching, whether it's in the past, the present, or the future. If you missed the beginning of this stream and you want to catch it or any other streams I've done, check out the past broadcast tab. That's the last 60 days worth of streams. Uh, or check out Iggy Kid Twitch Archive on YouTube. It's linked down below on the browser... Down, down below on the browser version. Um... And that's, yeah, a channel where I have all of my streams I've ever done from the very beginning, which was almost a year ago. Anniversary stream is coming up um, a week from Monday. Very excited to do that. Going to be playing some Stardew Valley like I did the first time I streamed. Um, uh, if you want to catch any future streams, there's a schedule down below that says what game on what day. Or if you want to know the hour, then uh, click the lion icon over there. And go to the schedule tab and it'll say what hour and what game on what day but that's all subject to change so if you want to make sure you don't miss any streams follow me on twitter twit follow me on twitter at iggy d kid yes and turn on notifications i tweet a half hour before i go live which worked all but one time there was one time where just twitter would not let me so if you want to make sure you never miss a stream follow me hit the heart icon helps a great deal Let's you get notifications through the app or email or however you like uh, whenever I go live. So that's the best way to keep up with it. And hey, if you like the stream a lot, I'd appreciate it if you considered subscribing. It does cost some amount, but there's separate tiers. And if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can uh, connect it to your Twitch to get Twitch Prime, which comes with one free subscription per month. And I'd appreciate it if you consider giving me that subscription. You know, I hope I entertained you enough for to uh, deserve that but uh in any case thank you very much for inviting me into your home your computer your tablet your laptop your phone your gaming console your computer your roku apple tv however it is you watch today i hope i brought some entertainment and levity into your life i hope you'll join me on saturday at about 1 p.m eastern for my weekly game of leader games oath which i i really love i definitely recommend checking out those past streams of that i've done and if nobody else has said this to you, I'll say this to you. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. I'm gonna raid you over. It's not a full goodbye, but yeah, goodbye from me. Let me figure out. Let me figure out who to raid over to. I'm gonna turn it to the uh, finale stream. Right. So one second. I gotta see who is uh who is streaming right now that I could raid you guys over to. I don't know where my phone's at. That's usually how I check. Uh, one sec. Where did I put... Where did I put my phone? Oh, dang, nabbit. Ah. There it is. I put my phone where I, uh, usually put my computer. So I wasn't even thinking of that as an option. So let me see who is streaming. Yeah, I will send you over to Paxman, who is doing some Mario Maker. So let me set that up. All right. Let him know I sent you. Enjoy the stream. I hope you guys have a great night. Great, great week. See you Saturday. Good night. Goodbye.